Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to another video. Uh, if you follow us on Instagram, you have probably seen that we participated in a medieval fair in Villanova de Famalicão. Uh, it is a city in the north of Portugal near Braga, um, probably some, I think, around 25 kilometers from the, co from the coast, uh, Povo de Varzim and Vila do Conde. And uh, our experience was very nice. Uh, it was the first time we have participated in a fair and as well it was the first time we've presented uh, Pedro's crafts to the public. Uh, he makes uh, magnets and um, wooden spoons and other things from wood. Uh, and it was very tiring but a fantastic experience. We've taken a day off to rest from the fair and to share uh, our balcony makeover. We are preparing it for the summer. So join us for this. See you in a while. The first thing we needed to change in the balcony was to transplant some things that, that we had. I bought a very nice yellow Achillea plant uh, last week on Wednesday uh, at the farmer's market and uh, it is like a root cutting. I've transplanted it. I don't know if it will survive because it has been uh, for some time waiting uh, to be transplanted in a proper place. Uh, I will have it in a pot because at the moment we, ha we have all our more or less perennial things in pots, hostas, mint, um, this really nice yellow achillea uh, and I will show you several other things and another thing that I'm gonna transplant are tomatoes. Uh, we took some cuttings from plants uh, that we have in the garden. As you know our tomatoes, uh, well they, they got sick as most of the other people's tomatoes uh, in the um, allotment places around us. Uh, probably a case of blight because it was very hot, humid, then cold, humid, and then another hot uh, period. So all of the tomatoes like dropped to the ground. It wasn't our case, we didn't have to tomatoes. <laughs> so, uh, not our case, but uh, definitely we will need more tomatoes and we would like to try at least to get a couple of them um, more in the ground. And I've taken some cuttings. The beautiful thing about taking cuttings from tomatoes is this. So, you can see that this tomato has been in a cup of water. Can you see all these beautiful roots? Uh, let's see if we can focus on these. Yeah, beautiful. So I'm gonna give it a try. It doesn't look really nice, but I'm gonna try and transplant it and I'm gonna show you the other things that we have as well. Yeah, see, see you in a moment. So we were talking about tomatoes. Um, these are four tomato cuttings that we have. Uh, this one here is a cherry tomato. Um, this one is, all these are like ox heart. The thing is, uh, they were taken from plants that were not so okay. And I think they kind of look a bit sickly but uh, we will see. Um, I've tried to, to feed them some humus, like earthworms castings. So let's see. And then we have a cucumelon that is doing quite well. 
uh, it needs to be transplanted uh, we have another really small one here then we have the cutting from this the root cutting from this achillea plant uh, I've mulched it uh, and you can see the plant here uh, they were one big root and another one that was like not so big but quite long so it had several plants on it I've uh, put it uh, in normal like ecological potting mix and I hope that they will grow the lady told me uh, that they will probably only come up next year <laughs> so yeah we're gonna wait for the for those I've mulched them with some really fine wood chips these are the product from Pedro's craft uh, and we keep them to uh, use in the garden and there's a compost ingredient so yeah this was my first task today um, then this is a hosta plant that we bought last year and this one was supposedly dead uh, it completely died <laughs> in the end of last year I was so unhappy because I thought that our zone was okay for them to be like evergreen but uh, it died I continued watering the pot because I thought it might come back and then I saw this tiny weed here uh, I told you about it in another video uh, it's called Galin Soga Perviflora and uh, this one came in uh, in the pot it appeared like a tiny shoot like this one here um, and since last year we consumed it uh, I thought oh well we might be able to uh, at least get some leaves from this one and then I started watering it a little bit more and then the hosta shoots came and the plant is bigger than last year um, and then I have this plant uh, that is very nice the smell is wonderful I really don't know the name in English um, but in my country in Bulgaria they use these ones uh, for jams and they have some medicinal uses as well um, I can try to give you more information on these then I have some lemon trees a lot of them like in tiny pots I grow them from seed and I have red sage this one is recently transplanted let's see if it does well I have some red vein sorrel uh, we love this one uh, I've trimmed it quite a lot because uh, it was very uh, it didn't look very well it looked the leaves were like papery I think it's too hot as well for it and then I have this mint that is kind of grow going crazy um, it was really nice lush and green more or less like this one uh, at uh, more or less around April then it started dying back because we had a heat wave and now it's coming back and now the heat is coming again so we will see how this one goes here it's quite hot and then we have a couple of uh, tumbling tom tomatoes uh, it's my first time growing these so I am really excited I have them in these big pots I hope these are enough uh, I have two plants they were grown from seed and they were recently transplanted so I'm very excited about this and this is our pepper plant this one is two years old so this is its second year um, I'm gonna show you in a moment a video and how this plant looked a couple of months ago 
uh, and now we are probably close to the moment to have uh, probably yeah I think maybe flowers and I can see a flower right here yeah let's see if we can get it from another angle Yay. I'm so happy so we can eventually have some peppers so can you overwinter your peppers yes you can this one was really lucky because we have a covered balcony and it could stay there we cut it back so that only a few branches were left it looked like the skeleton tree it was very sad but as you can see uh, it is really it's doing well um, we had a problem with it at the beginning we, uh, because it had these like um, yellowy leaves um, if you can see it so the color turned like whitish uh, it was against the wall that you can see here and I suppose it literally got baked so the moment we put it in another place the leaves uh, recovered their original color so yeah you can see some of them are still quite like papery and uh, but it was probably as well over watering and as well the heat coming from the wall so if your peppers are having a problem uh, well it's either the heat or they're against the surface that reflects a lot of light and basically bakes them at least it was what what was happening with it uh, then we have this spider plant that uh, we found on the street and uh, we took a couple of roots with a couple of tiny plants now there are a couple of quite big plants uh, we have red basil uh, we have this incense plant that is really nice uh, and a couple of other succulents that I really don't know very well the names they have a lot of names um, and they're very common here in Portugal and yeah this is let's say our tiny garden um, these are plants that we prefer to have uh, here uh, not in the allotment first because the tomatoes are supposed to be in pots and i would really like to grow them here just to see how it goes and then the rest are plants that uh, we can have in the allotment but um, they always recommend us to have the perennials out of there just in case because if you abandon the plot uh, and they need to clear it it will be more difficult so uh, yeah and I've preferred to have them at home too uh, and yeah this is it uh, this is why I'm I have this Achillea plant as well in pot uh, because I would really like to see how it grows and um, uh, I would like to see the development uh, if the root cutting will be fine and you can't see this first <laughs> unless you go every day like all day to the allotment and this is not possible for us uh, it is not so near to where we live and yeah this is our tiny balcony garden and I will keep you updated how this goes as well. Thank you for joining me today. And I wish you all the best. Happy gardening.